you see, this is why we have what's known as the Antichrist, which is the opposer or the opposite of God, the one who is against Christ, because the Christ or the crescent of the moon is the sin at nighttime against the light of the sun or daylight which is exactly why the Antichrist symbols are inverted, the polar opposites of God, or the polar opposites of each other. And this is exactly why the Satanists worship the Leviathan, the symbol of the inverted pentagram. So you see, this is why the Hebrew word for Satan, or the devil, is Ha-Satan which is the S-T-N, which obviously comes from Saturn L. And when we look at the Book of Enoch, we see the name Satan L. And this is why the Quran talks about the Iblis, or Satan, which was created from smokeless fire, because the fire of the sun is now in its ember state, the ember months, at the end of the year when the sun begins to fall to the underworld, exactly like every day, which is why our day begins at midnight, at the height of the moon, when the sun is setting, and the deity is referring to the de, or the decline, the deceiver, the, 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 the deluge, you know, they're talking about the deep, it's talking about the devil, or the death, which we find in December, which is the month of Saturn L, or the Capricorn, the old goat. And this is why the very word God means goat, the old goat from Saturn L, and this is why they depict the devil also as the goat. So this is why the Satanists worship the inverted goat head that is hung upside down in December when the goat or the Capricorn rules and the goat is the half goat and the half man which is the satyr which comes from Saturn L which is why we're talking about the zodiac or the animal wheel and that's why the devil appears as one of the animals of the zodiac so mostly the devil or Baal is shown as the horned beast, the horned bull. So you see, this is why the very word devil comes from the bull, which comes from Diablos, which is talking about the bull, and the dia means the diagonal cut of the two, or the dos. And that is the real wisdom behind the Bible, and of course the wisdom of King Solomon, or the sun and the moon. So we find that the modern day Shin, or Sin, has the same exact symbol as the ancient Paleo-Hebrew symbol does. The symbol of the three, or the trinity. So you see, this is why we have the Trinity in Judea Christian religions. They are talking about the three or the trine aspect. So the shin or the sin is representing the trine aspect or the trinity of the moon phases. So this is why, for example, in witchcraft, we find the three witches, which reflects the three aspects of the moon known as the triple head goddess of the underworld when the moon is out and is the queen of heaven the ancient horned one or the horn god and i'll give you one guess what the third horn represents and almost everyone has sex during the moonlight hours which is why they tell us it's a sin because you're feeling horny like the little horny devil. And this is why the letter Shin or Sin has the trinity or the trine aspect of the trident, which is used and symbolized by the devil. And this is why the symbol of the trine represents the triangle of L, the symbol of fire. And this is exactly why you'll see in a church, they light the three candles. 
The letter Shin, according to our sages, is the letter of fire. If you look at the Shin, it has three flames. And in fact, the word in Hebrew for fire is Aish, Aleph Shin. The Shin is the fire, and the Aleph is Avir. So this is why the bull god Enlil is the bull god of heaven or the air, and the symbol of Aleph is the symbol of the air, which is the bull, the bull, and the A, the Aleph, which is the symbol of air, which is the symbol of the Illuminati. So yes, the name of fire in Hebrew is the A and the S which is the Aleph and the Sin. So we see the bull fire of the Trinity, which is why the bull god El appears as fire, as does the devil in hell. So this is why they tell us that the devil is named Lucifer, which is the light of the goddess moon, Luna. And why they tell us that Lucifer means Venus, which is Aphrodite, the goddess of love. And by the way, the very word Shad and Shaddai is the root words for Shaddaim, which means the breast in Hebrew. Which, for example, is why they show you the breasts on the Baphomet. You see, we're talking about the left-hand path, or the wrong side opposite of the right side, which is the dark time, the demon side, the demon goddess, which is the deity of the moon. And this is why the very word night is named after the goddess of the night. And this is why the Bible demonizes the goddess. You see, they tell us that the very word shin or sin could be named after the bow which is the bow of the moon. And that's exactly why the moon goddess carries the bow. You see, this is why the monotheistic monarchy has the story of the moon ark, or the ark of the covenant, which is nothing more than the ark of the moon. And you'll notice that the shin and the sin has a dot on the shin to the right and a dot on the left of the sin, going from the right to the left, exactly like the moon phases, which is why Hebrew is read from right to left, exactly like the moon. Starting from the right and ending and dying on the left. So this is why our whole existence of time is based upon the moon, which is the month. So along with the moon of the last month of the year, we find that Cronus, Saturn L, is the god or the father of time. Because December, or during the month of he is the grim reaper, the father of time who cuts and kills time at the end of the year, which is why Saturn eats his children, which is the symbol of time. So this is why the harvest season uses what's called the sick L, or the sickle, which is the symbol and the tool used to harvest, which is the symbol or the bow of the moon. And this is why it's also called the bowline, which is obviously named after the bull. And the sin and the shin is also known as sharp, which comes from the sharp horns of the bull of the thorn, or the slice or the blade of the moon. And by the way, in the Arabic sin, we also see the Trinity, as well as the Greek sigma, which also has the symbol of the three, or the trine, which comes from the Trinity of the moon, which is also found in our modern-day letter of S.
and we see that the letter S carries the symbolic representation of the fertility of the serpent and time. So you see, this is why the devil or Satan in the Bible is known as the dragon or the old serpent, because the moon is also like a serpent or the letter S. And the other Hebrew S is known as the Samech, which is a symbol of a circle, which is the symbol of the serpent eating its tail, known as the Ouroboros, which carries the sacred symbolism of the sacred wheel, or the circle, or the Cirque of El. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without required permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purposes of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.